Hi everyone, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, we are going to discuss one core Java FAQ. So, what is that? When we use fully qualified name, fully qualified name. So, we know that what is a fully qualified name, right? So, means what? Just writing the complete package name while using any class. Instead of import statement, we use a fully qualified name. Sir, why we have to use a fully qualified name? Already import statement is there. So, definitely the question will rise. The simple answer. See, so take one package. Take one package. In package P1, in package P1, already one class is there. X class file is there. And next one more class, Y class file is there. Y class file is there. So, can I place another X class file? Can I place another X class file? So, package is nothing but a folder in a single folder in your computer. If already one file is there, means what with the name one class is there. Can you place another file with the same name? Impossible. It is not allowed. It is not allowed. So, then what we have to do? You have to create another folder with a different name and in that folder you can place X dot class and some other classes also you can place suppose Z dot class. The main advantage of packages is avoiding collisions between class names only. Here it is a two classes, it is the same name, but how can you avoid I mean, collisions? You cannot place inside a single folder. So, you are creating two folders, nothing but two packages in Java terminology. So, placing is ok, but sir accessing, see from any class, suppose class is test, in the test class, so we are writing main method. We are writing, I am writing only just main method, not everything public static wide main. Now, I want to work with the P1 package and P2 package. So, you have to import, import P1 package dot star and import, import P2 package dot star. Then the first one will create a connection to P1 package and second one will create a connection to P2 package. Now, these two packages are connected in means what from this Java application. Now, I want to work with a Y class. Simply, I am creating object for Y class. Is allowed or not? It is allowed. Reason using these two connections, using these two connections, it is looking for Y class. How many Y classes are there? Only one Y class is there. So, no problem. And suppose if you are trying to access Z class, and it is also allowed problem whenever we are accessing X class because two X class files are there. In P1 package it is available and in P2 package it is available and you are connecting to P1 and P2 package from where it has to access it cannot understand. So, this is collisions. So, collisions is ambiguous, it is not allowed. So, then what we have to do? How can we access? Here, we should go for fully qualified name. Whenever you are creating object for X, you should specify P1 package X class and address if you want to collect reference variable is also P1 package X class. And next, if you create object for P2, P2 package X class R2 is equals to new P2 package X class, new P2 package X class, this is. Okay. So, this is the thing and here it is we are using fully qualified name. So, when we use a fully qualified name means if you want to access two classes with the same name, but from two different packages instead of import statement, we should go for fully qualified name, no second option for us. Okay. So, hope you understood what are the advantages of fully qualified name. Okay. For more videos, please subscribe to Naresh IT channel. Thank you. Mm -hmm.